I'm meteorologist Todd Clausen. Thanks for joining us on HTSN. Obviously, the big story continues to be what's left of Hurricane Sandy as it makes its way further inland. But this is still a massive storm system, still a very dangerous storm system with many aspects. We had all the coastal flooding in New York, New Jersey, and Maryland. We had over three feet of snow reported in parts of Charleston, uh, West Virginia, and then the snow continued up into portions of Ohio. What we'll deal with here in central Indiana will be the wind. Because this storm system is so powerful, and the center of low pressure is New Near Maryland, it will have the counterclockwise flow, and that's going to throw the rain, showers, some snow showers, but more prominent will be the wind back here into central Indiana. Because of the gusty winds, the National Weather Service has issued a wind advisory for the entire state, and this is in effect until 8 p.m. this evening for most locations. We are expecting wind gusts to be up and over 50 miles per hour at times throughout the day today. Sustained winds will be anywhere from about 15 to 25, so no doubt about it, it's going to be a windy day. And and that's going to be the main impact to Indiana from this storm. The other one will be rain showers, primarily east of Indianapolis, and a few snow showers that we were dealing with throughout the morning hours. We had reports of snow showers in Muncie as well as Fort Wayne earlier this morning. Now, the precipitation is going to start to back its way from east to west across the state. Kind of a unique direction. We usually don't see that. And uh, the key is exactly how far does this precipitation backtrack across the state. I think it definitely gets to the metro area, and then it probably doesn't get much further to the west. So if you're in Terre Haute, Greencastle, down towards Bloomington, you'll have a cloudy, windy day, but not a whole lot in the way of precipitation. From Indianapolis north to Peru, east towards Muncie and Richmond, you'll be dealing with rain showers off and on. You'll be dealing with wind. It's going to be chilly. It's not going to be a very nice day by any means. The storm system itself finally starts to pull out of here as we go into the overnight hours. Maybe a few showers linger well off towards the north and to the east. And then as we go into the afternoon hours tomorrow, we're left with some clouds. But again, most of the precipitation should end by that point. So with the rain showers, with the wind today, your high only gets up to 45 in the city as well as Peru. 42 in Richmond where it remains dry. Terre Haute, you get up to 51. And then overnight tonight, precipitation comes to an end. The wind will start to die down. Temperatures go into the 30s. And here's a look at your seven-day planning forecast. 46 tomorrow, then we're up into the 50s for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with dry conditions and not nearly as much wind.